News is something that dates back thousands of years, when people were first sharing information and stories by word of mouth. The road was paved for newspapers between the 14 and 1500s when the printing press was invented, creating a way for papers, books, and other printed materials to be mass distributed. Back then, if a publication met four specifications, like Germany's first weekly newspaper, The Relation, in 1604, it was called a true newspaper. These four foundational pillars included accessibility to the public, regular publishing, like a daily, monthly, or weekly newsprint, up-to-date information, and the coverage of a variety of topics, like the sports and entertainment sections we see in the news graphic. Today, all of this is printed on thin paper, specially rolled, and often made from recycled materials. Large printing presses print out thousands of copies at a time, with an army of drivers to deliver them all to newsstands, homes, and mailboxes around town. So how is our news graphic made? Through exceptional teamwork and creative thinking, our team works around the clock to bring you newspapers on Tuesdays and Fridays each and every week. Our journey starts in the newsroom for this video, although each department of our office is working hard on their own projects, like creating the pages, or dummies, for which we lay out our pages, or selling ads that are placed throughout the paper. Much like how a beehive operates, the news graphic is made up of a variety of workers, from advertising specialists to news reporters, graphic designers, pressmen, and everything in between. We'll focus on our reporters today who gather and generate much of the content you read in the news graphic. Journalists begin working on articles in a number of ways. Maybe it's a meeting in local government that took place requiring coverage, a heartwarming event taking place across town, or our awesome readers who call to give us tips when they see news happening around them. No matter the case, the reporter works to figure out the appropriate people to contact and interview for their story, much like how you would ask your English teacher about your writing homework instead of asking your math teacher. Interviews can happen in a variety of ways, from email to phone calls, to in-person meet and greets, and everything in between. Without the community and its people, it's likely these stories wouldn't reflect the values and mannerisms we see throughout daily life in Scott County. Instead, we might see area coverage from a TV station that doesn't go as in-depth as what a hometown paper would, though their news coverage is needed just as much to keep us all informed. After the interview, the journalist works to complete a written piece which may also be accompanied by one or more photos. It's within these articles that we see direct quotations being used, giving people a voice in their community paper. Articles oftentimes will include additional information to help the reader better understand what the person or persons are talking about, like supplying a phone number or giving dates for certain upcoming events. On our website, related stories can be linked together to provide the ultimate coverage for readers, much like how numerous photos can be uploaded to our galleries for further viewing. When the reporter is satisfied with their piece, it is sent to our newspaper's editor and publisher who proofreads each copy and forwards them to the graphic design department to be laid onto a page. The graphic designer uses a program called InDesign to format the headline, byline, and body of each article when placing them onto their respective pages. Most of the creativity you see throughout our newspapers is born here, where written documents are translated onto a page alongside other content and advertisements. Once the designer is happy with the page, it is printed off on a large sheet of paper for the newsroom employees, including the original author of the work, to proofread and edit each page. They look for things like missing titles or cut lines from photos, wrong page numbers, typos and grammatical errors, and more, before eventually being approved and sent to the production team, who looks over all the pages again. The pages are then sent to the CTP, or Computer to Plate Room, where they are imaged and processed onto an aluminum plate. The plates are 23 by 30 inches and are kept in a darkened room to prevent exposure before imaging and processing takes place. Each plate is run through two machines, one that burns the image onto the plate with lasers, and the other which cleans it by processing and developing. This process is similar to how film is developed from a camera. These plates are then bent on the top and bottom edges in three specific angles to help the pressmen attach them to the press. As of April 2021, the News Graphic Press was one of only 17 plants in Kentucky. The reported number of presses in 2003 was 41, showing just how important our local operation truly is. 
Because there are not many left in the state, the News Graphic Press has also worked with other publications to print their company's product, running almost constantly throughout the week except for Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The press and its crew work to produce 10 to 15 different print jobs at any given time, printing thousands of copies. Rolls of paper are threaded through the press, creating a web of newsprint. These rolls can weigh hundreds of pounds and are wheeled next to the press when a section runs out of paper. Pressmen work together to push a row shaft through its center before it is placed and secured onto the press itself. Once the plates and paper are ready, the pressmen make sure each ink fountain is supplied with its corresponding color, such as blue, red, yellow, and black. A water tray on each cylinder, which cleans the plates each cycle, is also checked. When the press is started, the pressmen check copies at random to make sure the colors on the page match the page's original proof, as well as to ensure everything lines up. Copies are then transferred over to the insertion machine, where inserts are quickly placed inside each paper before it is bundled and secured together with plastic bindings. Some papers are also labeled or bagged for mail delivery, with other copies placed inside the news graphic office for customer convenience. Regardless of how you get your paper, you can count on the news graphic or a newspaper near you to keep you informed on what's happening in your community. Want more information? Visit us online at newsgraphic.com.